All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm playing a game called Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and this game has uh, some pretty cool stuff about it. This is one of the mobile games I've been playing for quite some time now. I think at this point I have maybe close to, uh, probably around two years-ish, uh, if I included all my time playing. Uh, the game is five years old. I played it when it initially, initially came out, I believe in like November of 2015. Uh, I stuck with it for a few months and then I dropped it because it just, I couldn't keep up with it with what I was doing in life at the time. And then last year uh, I picked it back up again and I've been playing ever since. Um, and a lot of things have changed since the game first came out. So um, let's talk about it a little bit. Um, actually, yeah, I don't want to get into my roster just yet. Um, so the main point of this video is I want to do Grand Arena Championship. Um, now this is a pretty cool game mode they added in where it's a 1v1, so it's me versus another player. And what you do is you set teams, like the left side of the screen will be blue, those are the teams I set for my defense. And the teams on the right uh, obviously are my opponent's teams, the ones he has selected for his defense. Uh, now it's a pretty cool uh, game mode, It's uh, I don't really care about the rewards, I, I just care about uh, this game mode personally, I use this as like a kind of like a gauge to see how I'm doing um, and like as far as my roster progression is concerned. Um, yeah, that's mostly what I'm looking for. So you know, you go in and you see it is a 5v5. Now they'll do occasionally where it's a 3v3. So instead of a full team of five, you'll have a team of three characters. Um, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to record uh, my fights and see how it goes. Uh, we've got some pretty pretty uh, strong looking teams, although that top one is a little confusing. Uh, so the first one in the lineup is, uh, that's your leader. So if we look at her, she buffs Jedi. So I'm not entirely sure why she has Kylo Ren, uh, or why this person decided to put Kylo Ren in this lineup. Uh, maybe as a tank, I guess, but that's kind of confusing. Um, and then again, just going back here, uh, we see the Bounty Hunters, which pretty good team. I've put the Bounty Hunters on my defense as well. Although the mind lineup is slightly different. I don't have Cad Bane, I have IG, uh, IG-11, I think is what his name is. And then he's got his Empire on defense, which is a little confusing because uh, Empire is more of an offensive team. These two, you can make the case that can they, they can be used for offense or defense, so it's not too bad. And then I'll show you my front line. So uh, the yellow uh, gear, so on this character, right? Uh, this is, oh, it doesn't show actually, okay. Uh, so the yellow up there is gear, gear 11. Um, which is pretty high, it's the second highest. And then down here, purple, uh, you'll see that there's various tick marks on it and such. Uh, those are various levels. Uh, I think the Captain Phasma is, I think, nine. And then a full circle like this would be gear eight. And then I think he's gear nine or 10, I can't remember. So anyway, uh, that's what I have, and then down here I have my Geonosians, which is a pretty ridiculous team, especially in the early game, and then I have my Jedi on defense. I forgot I did that, actually. All right, I <laughs> guess, uh, guess that's that. Oh, but my mine is different from his. Um, I have Illuminara, who is a healer Jedi in this game, and I also have Jolie Bindo. Yeah, uh, he's another healer, however, he can also, actually, do I even have that upgraded? Oh no, I don't have that. Uh, so his special ability, when you get this completely maxed out, will revive all dead Jedi on your team. So it's very, very, very good. Uh, I don't have that ability just yet because those materials are pretty hard to come by. And uh, like I said, I've been working on my Geonosians lately. Um, you see these purple little squares in the bottom left of a character's portrait? That means they have a Zeta ability. I'm gonna click on the Brood here. So I put his on Queen's Will, which the thing it added was, um, this line down here. It says, at the start of the encounter, summon a Geonosian Brute who taunts for one turn. Uh, normally, if I didn't have that ability maxed out, I would have to summon that ally myself and then use his taunt. So it's a very, very beneficial upgrade to have. All right, I've stalled long enough, so let's try to get into some battles. Um, this is a very strong Jedi team. And if we take a look at my selected squads, I think, 
think what I want to do is take my separatist in, see how it goes, see if there's anyone who's better for the mission right now. No, not necessarily. Because Count Dooku is pretty good, but he's just pretty low for me right now. I don't know if you noticed, but he's only five stars. Um, so right away, Bastila Lashan gives um, Taunt, which is that green symbol on Mace Windu, the one on the left. She gives him uh, Taunt uh, simply for being, I think he's a tank in this game. So right away, he starts off with that. And I don't know how this is gonna go, so we're just gonna we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna try it see how it goes. Um, I'm not super confident in this. I just kind of wanted to try it because um, uh, my separatists are in a pretty good spot right now, so they they're pretty strong. Let's see what happens. Um, see the key to this team is you want Newt Gunray, the guy in the middle. You want him to extort as many people as possible because his extortions are very, very powerful. Um, you'll see um, I extorted Mace Windu earlier. However, um, he got rid of it because he put it on me. Uh, it's called Profit, I think. Basically, I put a debuff on you and you can pay the cost. It's a bit like real life extorting. So you pay the cost and then you no longer, or uh, you give me a buff. So it's kind of pretty interesting ability. Um, in no way, shape, or form, and I'm, am I an expert in this game at all? Um, I play it pretty casually, although I would say I play this more than I play some of the other games. Um, so I'm not an expert or anything like that. Um, so definitely, I'm probably misplaying a lot of things. The, this matchup, in and of itself, is probably isn't the best move. But um, I just I thought it would be fun. I like to use my Separatists as much as possible. Uh, the reason I started building them up in the first place is because they're the legend or the team you need to unlock. Um, Padme Amidala, who is a legendary character in this game. Um, now, legendary characters are characters that you need to build up a specific team for to unlock them. Um, that's pretty much what that is. They're usually pretty good, and um, depending on the kind of event, you can either unlock them at five stars, or they only unlock at seven stars, which is the maximum for this game. Pretty fun stuff. Just get rid of those notifications as they pop up. Um, that one in particular was from Marvel Strike Force, another hero collector game I played just like this. Although uh, I would say I, I like Marvel Strike Force more, and part of that has to do with the IP. I just I like Marvel more than I like Star Wars. Uh, that's kind of always been the case, though. So as you can see, we're kind of taking our time whittling this team down little by little. Um, General Grievous is probably going to be the main damage dealer on our team now. Uh, Count Dooku is very good, like I said earlier, however, um, mine's just not very powerful. Like I said, he's only like four or five stars when seven is the maximum. So he could be better. Oh man, this is gonna... I hope it don't time out. We're already at two minutes and we've only taken out one character. I might cut the recording early uh, after one or two battles, we'll see. I don't really want this to be an extremely long video by any means. Oh hey, well now we're now we're doing some work. This is going to be pretty. It should. I hopefully it'll start moving a little faster now that we've gotten rid of uh, Kylo Ren, who's a pretty good tank. Um, so we really want to keep Bastila under lock and key because she is very good. She gives out uh, abilities to other characters and stuff. Um, so keeping her under control is going to be a very good thing to do. Uh, Ahsoka, I'm a little worried about because Ahsoka does a lot of really good damage. Um, she can come out and. Want, potentially one shot one of my characters if the timing is right and we're gonna take care of her awesome and then we should be dropping mace any second yeah there it goes cool so we didn't time out so now what you're seeing before you is uh it's called the banner system basically it's a tracker to see how many points you get for the overall battle because whether you clear the all of the enemy teams it can really come down to who was most efficient and um yeah, so you'll see I have full health units at the bottom, surviving units, uh, first attempt, that's the big one. You don't really want to double tap a team because you're losing a lot of points that way. So there goes the first team. Now the second team, uh, a lot of people don't really care for the Phoenix team, the Phoenix Squadron. Uh, the Phoenix Squadron is, of course, from the Rebels cartoon. And um, they're actually, I think they're a really good team in this game. Um, a lot of people recommend them as like the first team to go after because it's a, it's a really good team to teach new players like synergy and things like that. Um, 
So I'm of course going to take in the Empire because they get extra buffs in, uh, well, I guess they, I should say they debuff the enemy team if they're Jedi and Rebels. So uh, I hope this works. Um, I hope I didn't make a bad decision because um, these enemies are pretty powerful. All right, so Darth Vader, uh, they recently just changed his animations and updated his character look and stuff like that. I think it looks very nice now. Um, now, the first one we want to go after is Ezra. Now, we're going after Ezra because he's the main damage dealer on their team. Um, he's so good, in fact, that people will even sometimes use him on, like, Jedi teams. Uh, he's very powerful. He hits very hard. Um, so we really want to take care of him right away. And we did. Awesome. Um, so now, I think my next target is either is probably going to be Chopper. Um, Chopper is very annoying. I believe his passive is the one that, I guess... It's called, they're called unique abilities in this game. Um, but his, one of his unique abilities gives all the other people uh, counter, uh, counter attacks. And that's super annoying. So I really want to take care of that. Wow. Uh, I did not think this was going to go this smoothly. All right. So this is probably a little bit overkill. Um, I switched targets to Zeb uh, just simply because he's now uh, out of stun. Yeah, this, is, this was overkill. All right. This is probably going to be a bad example, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to keep doing some damage. Just keep plugging away. You gotta, so uh, Emperor Palpatine, when he uh, does his lightning move, so his basic ability, the one all the way to the left, when he does his lightning, he, it basically has a special effect. See, uh, shock. Can't gain health, buffs, or bonus turn meter. Um, so that's a pretty good uh, debuff to score on people when you can. And there we go. So now you'll notice there's a couple of new uh, things on the bottom. So full health, I think I had that last time, I'm not entirely sure, but full protection. That's an extra couple banners you can get from obviously attacking and um, maintaining your health. All right, so now we're gonna go after, I think we're gonna go after bounty hunters. Um, let's see. All right, I built this team incorrectly. I should have had, I should have had a different character in there. So we don't have a lot of teams left, and that's kind of scary, actually. Uh, so the bounty hunters are a very good squad. Um, you'll see up here, I have my. I don't know if you want to call them. Actually, you know what? Let's yeah, let's lose this team. So I'm only going to take in three characters because I'm really hoping that the three characters will be a bit overkill. So when you spawn in. Han Solo automatically gets the first attack, like period. So right away I want to take out Bosk, because Bosk is very, very powerful. Next, uh, I have a couple options. Um, I'm going to go after Boba, because Boba is another very good character. Um, if you'll notice that green, uh, it's called a buff, it was like a permanent one. He doesn't have it anymore, but that's why he came back to life, is because he had that uh, special like buff on him. It's something that only him and two other characters have. It's called Bounty Hunter's Resolve. And basically, when they're killed, they come back with full HP. Yeah, again, this was probably a bit overkill. But hey, better over than under, right? See, now you'll see there's another slot where it says unused slots. And that gives me eight extra banners. Um, underdogging is what this is called when you take in not a full team. And it's a pretty good strategy if you want to... Um, just kind of scoop up more banners and kind of get an edge on your opponent. Um, so I probably didn't plan this the greatest, but we'll see what's going to happen. So like I said, I had the very wrong person plugged into this team. It was supposed to be Barris Offy. Now my team is very, very, very undergeared. As you can see, I don't even have max stars in all these characters. So I'm not expecting a win, but if I can at least take out a couple of their main characters, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, yep, again, just kind of off to a rough start already. Let's see, uh, Thrawn is a very strong character, so I think I'm going to go after him first. And that's part of why he's so strong right there, is his, his fracture ability. You can probably go back and notice that I used it as well in my battle earlier against the Rebels. Oh wow, this is, oof, oh man. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so I clearly got demolished. Um, again, I wasn't expecting anything too crazy, but oof, that was rough. Probably should have saved my CLS squad for this team, but oh yeah, I should have, because look, 
if you look at Darth Vader, his leadership is, yeah, it doesn't have the, the, the rebel thing, so my CLS would have worked fine against this. Well, live and learn, right? Um, so I guess we'll just go in with my Phoenix Squadron. They're mixed gear and they're a pretty solid squad. Again, I think I like them more than a lot of people give them credit for. Um, so right here, let's throw a taunt up on Chopper. Kind of take the, oh man, he already just got rid of it. Whew, oh boy. All right, so let's call in Ezra and try to get some damage done on Thrawn. Because the last thing I want is him to come out and fracture somebody. And then let's call in, sweet. So I got the double attack, so I was able to take out Thrawn. Now let's do, get some staggers. Uh, stagger is basically, so the blue line at the bottom of their, um, like bars on the top of them, the blue one is to indicate uh, turn meter. And I don't know why I just mentioned that, but I did, and we're just gonna run with it. I forgot what I was, where I was going with that. A lot of stuff going on right now, pretty, pretty crazy. I'm um, just trying to stay alive at this point, really. Um, yar, yarg. All right, so I just put a debuff on Chopper, or a, I'm sorry, a special buff on Chopper, which will, um, very similar to the Bounder Hunter's Resolve, it'll bring him back to life if he gets KO'd. Um, sweet, 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 sweet. All right, so we're working our way through this, get some taunts up. Um, this guy over here, Kanan, uh, he's our other tank. So between the two of them, I want them soaking up as much damage as possible. And all right, looks like we're gonna win this time. Uh, I wish I would have realized right away that Vader didn't, Oh, big hit. Let's try to take out Vader here. I think Vader has a thing where he regains health every time a, they call him damage over time. That's the little explosion above my characters. So every time uh, one of those expires on my characters, uh, Vader heals health. That is kind of stressful, I'm trying to take out Vader. Awesome. Now it should be a lot, lot, lot easier to um, manage the rest of this because they no longer have a leader skill. Because I'm pretty sure with this game specifically, Galaxy of Heroes, leader skills are like they deactivate essentially when the leader is taken out. Um, there are other games where that isn't necessarily true. Um, so it's just a nifty thing to keep in mind. So now it should be a lot easier to deal with these characters. Um, it is unfortunate that I lost one of my characters because um, that's going to hurt my my uh, overall score, but that's fine. Uh, dub is a dub, right? Um, yeah, Count Dooku is a very annoying character. He, um, he does a lot of attacks at once. He attacks multiple times, in, or I just said that. And um, he also counterattacks a lot, and watch this, he might, okay, so sometimes he can counterattack more than once off of that. So if you hit him once, he can counterattack twice. See, you see the second attempt, I only get 10 banners as opposed to 30 if it would have been my first attempt. So now that his front wall is taken out, I can see his back wall. So now, right now they're doing characters and ships. So the top territory in the back will always be a ship. And he's got a pretty strong force, a power of 350 or 300 and almost 70,000. That's pretty, it's pretty good. And then down here, he's got his separatists. Oh yeah, he's trying to get Padme Amidala. Um, well, I don't, like I said before, I don't really have a lot left in the tank. So let's see if I can take out his team with a rebel squad. Um, after that, I really, oh man. If I don't win this, then I'm probably not going to win. Well, this match at least. I'm really hoping, because he hasn't attacked me at all, and there's only two hours left. So it's a 24-hour window for which they can, um, which everything takes place. Pretty interesting. Like I said, I, I really enjoy this game mode. It's probably one of my favorite things about Galaxy of Heroes at the moment. Because um, the game itself is just kind of... Uh, a lot of people have been playing the game for a super long time, or they really lost favor with a lot of them, because the game... Uh, it's just, it's not receiving tons of content updates. It's been months since they got their new game mode they can play, which is just a reskin of an older one. And it's got really super, like super vamped up difficulty for no reason other than just make it hard. And I think a lot of people found that very frustrating. Um, so if you see like the YouTubers and stuff, this is like the main game mode they like to play and stream and all that kind of good stuff. 
So as you can see, we're probably going to lose, um, but that's okay. Um, actually, I might even be able to... Okay, so yeah, he comes back to life. But let's see... Nope. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, Jango Fett is also a very good character. Um, yeah. Wiped. Alright, well, let's see if we can make something work out of this. There's only two characters left. Uh, unfortunately, I think... Um, yeah, these are all my very not upgraded characters. You can tell by their power level. Um, even my Ewok squad is better than most of these characters. Um, so new gun rate, I believe his ability will reset. So he will, if even if I do manage to kill him this time, he's still going to come back to life, which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is. Um, and you can tell uh, very obviously I don't use this team very often because it's very, very weak. Um... Yeah, I have very little expectation for this. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to at least kill Newt, but that's okay. I mean, we got some more teams we can use. Just keep throwing teams at them and see if we can get out a win or something. Um, so Night Sisters is one I actually regret not working on more. Uh, Night Sisters are a very good team. Uh, they're very annoying because they can keep coming back to life um, via Mother Talzin. So let's see. I give the enemy 10% crit chance and 10% um, critical damage every time I do this. Otherwise, uh, you know what? I think I'll keep that in my back pocket for the extra health. I think for right now, for one health, and yeah, sure, why not? And then, boom! That would do significantly more damage um, if they were upgraded at all. <laughs> uh, crud. All right, so it's a bad thing that Daka's dead because Daka is the main uh, avenue of damage for this team, or I mean, uh, damage of or main avenue for like bringing the team back to life and whatnot. Yeah, she's gone. Ooh, I got a stun there. Please taunt. Yeah, she taunts. Uh, however, Django can avoid taunt. So that's why this is happening. Let's do extortion. Oof. All right, so this is really going to come down to just Django. That's kind of rough. Um, so Django, the reason I haven't been targeting him first is simply because he has an ability. Uh, every, when he spawns in, he starts off with damage immunity. So even if I were to target him, I wouldn't be doing any damage. Um, so that kind of sucks. Let's see what else I can do. Honestly, I think that's going to be it. I really can't do anything else. I don't have any light or dark side enemy or um, characters left. I can try to do this. I can try taking in some leftover Jedi. I don't know how well this will go, but, you know, it's all about experimenting, really. Oh, no! He doesn't have the leadership, so he won't be starting off with... Uh... Oh, that's awesome! So I might actually be able to pull this out on, a, on this win. All right, giving him... Um... Yeah, awesome. Uh, I have very little expectation. Uh, it's pretty much a hope at this point, but I've got a healer, and I've got four... My four other characters are mostly damage-oriented, um, and assuming I can get a stun from one of these abilities, because I have a character that can do stuns, um, if I can get that to go off... Oh, no, he's going to keep regenerating his protection. Unless... Yeah, so even if I kill him, uh, chances are he's just going to... When he comes back to life, he's going to be able to boost himself up back to full stats. How unfortunate. Um, so yeah, my Jedi squad, my leftover Jedis that are, that is, um, probably a good investment um, to build up so I can have another secondary team to go in with. Uh, as you can see, my roster is pretty balanced at the moment. I have a pretty healthy amount of offense and defense teams. Um, it probably would have just been a lot more helpful had I um, not used my CLS so soon, because then I could have had uh, Phoenix in my back pocket for something else. Um, and it could have played out a little bit differently. So let's see what his leadership is. 40 defense, 50 percent to gain when they are damaged. All right, so let's go in with Chewbacca and just the highest people on my roster. Uh, don't want to tank. We'll just bring in, we'll bring our Jango Fett and see what happens. So for this team, uh, it didn't look like I put a lot of effort into it, but what we have here is we have uh, Chewbacca in the lead, who is going to be our tank. 
And then we have some stunners and some people who will affect the maximum health of Jango Fett. So maybe, just maybe, uh, we'll be able to do some damage to him and maybe pull out a win. That's the stun right there. This is going to be the taunt. And then we just want to keep spamming that ability with BB-8 because it charges up to his uh, ultimate ability. Oh, yeah, we got the we got the first KO. Uh, oh, we got the stun with R2-D2. We got the double tap with Cad Bane. We're going to recover some health. Keep popping off these buffs. So now my full team, my whole team is buffed right now. Keep him, everybody in smoke. Get some double shots if we can. Try to get some more stun. Um, not happening. And so you see how he's barely taking turns. It, it, uh, this is working out a lot more than I thought it would, and I'm so happy. All right, awesome. So we were able to get um, the win. Um, like I said, I really wasn't expecting that. It took me five teams. That's that's kind of a crazy amount. Um, so now let's go into the ship battle. I'm not a huge fan of ships um, myself. I don't really care for it. I think it's okay at best. Um, I don't put a lot of effort into it because um, in order to maximize a ship, you have to also maximize the character. Um, so for instance, Kylo Ren on Mast, you can see him down here in the bottom left corner. He is the pilot for this ship right here, the TIE Silencer. And essentially what that means is if you want your TIE Silencer to get to the maximum strength that it can, you have to upgrade Kylo, Ma uh, Kylo Ren on Mask, I believe up to gear 12 if you want to get to like the maximum out of him. Um, so, and, and that's, Kylo Ren on Mask is a good character, so he's not one that bothers me. Um, what bothers me is some of the other ones, like a uh, couple of the good generic ones, like Clone Sergeant uh, has a really good ship. Um, they're just not great characters in and of themselves. So you don't, you, you know, you're not, you don't want to gear them up because you're not going to use them outside of the ship game mode. Um, so personally, I don't really care for ships all that much. I'm actually going to save that ability for when I bring up the ghost. Usually by now I'm calling in my support ships, but uh, I'm kind of misplaying right now because I'm just kind of pushing the buttons in front of me. That's not the smart way to play. Please don't do that. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to call in the Ghost, because the Ghost has really good synergy with Phantom, which is this one right here. Uh, this one right here. Oh no, this is the Ghost, and this is the Phantom 2. So if you watch the cartoon, you would you would understand the reference on those. Um, yep, just keep calling in. Um, so this right here, the swirly thing, is causing debuffs on the enemy team, which is what I want to go for. Ooh, they called in their Boba Fett ship. I believe that's the Slave 2. Um, Slave 2 is pretty good. I'm about to call mine in as well. Um, because he spawns in with Taunt and that, uh, Retaliation Arrow. I don't know if that's actually what it... It's called Retribution. It's got 100% counter chance. Meaning he's doing a lot of damage. Or, yeah, passively doing a lot of damage. So every time I attack him, he's gonna hit me back. And because he's already, um, because he's taunting, it's basically guaranteed that I'm gonna be targeting his ship, or that ship specifically. Oh man, this is getting kind of rough. I wonder if his Admiral Akbar is geared up more than mine, and that's why his is getting off a little faster. So like I said, we're going to call in my Slave 2 now. I'm trying to keep up. Health and protection on my team is looking pretty good. Uh, protection I don't really care too much about, because protection isn't too crazy in ships that I've noticed. Um, Hound's Tooth, of the, my ship right here, um, he's got purple protection because his ability constantly generates energy for him. Um, so that's why his looks like that, whereas everyone else has like dingy little blue bars, except for my, the slave, of course. Um, looking kinda, kinda rough. We're getting some damage dealt on us. I probably should have taken out the slave, uh, sooner than I have. So yeah, we're gonna get this off, which is 77% turn meter, and it gives this buff to me. Um, use an ability during... Okay, so basically a double turn on my characters, if I'm understanding that correctly. So if I'm right, yep, there it is. And cause the target lock, and then we'll go and swoop, take him out. Oh, he's got another, oh man, big hit. Uh, like I said, let's go after him. I want to get some damage done, and ooh, very, very close on Boba's ship right there. Oh no, please don't die. I, okay, that is insane. Uh, get some AOE. Do I even have another ship to call in? I don't even think I do. 
How did he, oh, he has another ship? Oh, man. All right, so I lost that battle. Let's see if I can take in another ragtag, just crazy ships and see what I can do. Oh, crap. All right, so I haven't, uh, I think I locked this in before I had a chance to, so when you join Grand Arena, it locks in your roster. So even if you did upgrades after joining Grand Arena, it will not carry over. Um, something that, eh, it's, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. But it keeps you from, like, mid-battle, like, doing crazy upgrades. Like, say if you set super weak defenses, and then after Grand Arena, you decided to just go crazy and upgrade it. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose because all these ships are, they're just not good. I haven't upgraded them. Oh, man. This kind of sucks. I'm getting left to three backup ships is how I lose. Well, that's how it be sometimes. Not much I can do about it. Because, again, my ships are very, very bad. Which is kind of crazy, because they're all level 85. But, um, it doesn't matter much if their pilots are bad. Even, I'm kind of disappointed in some of these ships, too, because if you'll see down here in the bottom left corner, it, says, it just says Vulture Droid. Um, this is because this is one of the few pilotless ships in the game. And I don't know what these abilities do. Um, sure, let's just go for it. Give some buffs to my team uh, to target enemy and the weakest enemy. Um, gains protection. So let's go like this. There we go. Hey, I might even be able to swing something out on this. Pilotless ships for the win. So now just keep cranking out damage. Um, grant critical chance. Uh, cover 20% health and... Uh, let's go for the 20% health and protection. And then, dispel all debuffs on target ally and grant them taunt and protection up for two turns. So we're going to use that on the bomber, because the bomber is a tank. And we want that, we want him to take up as many hits as possible, and we also want to give him as much protection as possible. Yerp. Ooh, the AoEs are going to... Oh, no, there goes my tank. Uh... All right, let's go for the damage, I guess. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose again. <laughs> All right, so I couldn't beat my opponent, uh, not completely anyway. Um, I just, a big part of that is ships. I think I misplayed a couple of, um, a couple of my attacks. Um, as you can see, we're in the attack phase. There's only an hour and a half left. Um, so I'm probably going to win if my opponent doesn't attack me at all. Um, I'm really disappointed about this. If I would have realized that um, the Vader lead didn't affect Rebels at all, I probably would have went in here with my my uh, OG trilogy um, trio, or however you want to call them. So pretty disappointed by that, because then I could have used my Rebel squad back um, in this back wall here, or something, I don't know. Um, so that's going to wrap it up. Uh, a little bit different. This is kind of what I've been building towards. Uh, I don't have uh, my face on the screen because I don't have that capability just yet um, with my PC. I was planning on using blue stacks, but um, Capital Games has an issue with uh, the Star Wars game at the moment where you can't log in with your Facebook on new devices. Um, whether that's a terms of service thing or whatever, I don't know if they did why they disabled it, but... Um, it's kind of crummy because that's how I was hoping to do videos. Um, within the next week or so, I'll probably try to do a Marvel Strike Force video. Um, that I can do on the blue on blue stacks, so I'll have my face cam for that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said, I've been trying to get into this for a while, show off the mobile games I play and whatnot. Um, I'm also working on getting a it's a Elgato that plugs into my motherboard, and then I can use a VGA converter. Uh, with my tablet because I'm playing on an iPad um, I can use that and then uh, I'll be able to like basically plug my app my iPad into my computer and uh, through um, OBS and whatnot I'll be able to put my face on there and everything like that so yeah here's a new event I can't play it because I don't have these characters <laughs> see I don't even have that one unlocked um, yeah it's a fun game. It, that game mode is more fun, and it makes it more fun to record it. Uh, definitely it does. Uh, I definitely see why people stream it and stuff like that, because it's so much fun. Uh, it's a really fun game mode. Uh, I really hope it's introduced into games like Marvel Strike Force in the future. Um, yeah, I'm, 
I just got her to seven stars after the lock-in, so I'm going to be working on my Galactic Republic team. Uh, probably coming up here pretty soon. Uh, right now I'm still trying to max out my um, Geonosians. As you can see, my Brood is almost to six stars. Well, almost halfway at least. And then I'm working on some other characters. Uh, these ones with the blue little flag here on the right side, that means uh, they're favorited, so I can, they're at the top of my roster, so I can quickly access them to upgrade and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I really want to keep doing these videos, so I hope you enjoy that too. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. And uh, again, if you decide to give this a game a try because of uh, the footage I showed you, then uh, awesome. Let me know, and we'll have a conversation about it. Uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me through my business e email or social media. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.